Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh. HelloFresh is the food delivery service that brings fresh, pre-portioned ingredients right to your doorstep so you can make a meal quick and easy. Choose the meals that you want and a delivery date and HelloFresh will take care of the shopping and the meal plan. And speaking of meal planning, you don't have to waste any time planning your meals because HelloFresh has over 45 recipes every week to choose from. Having a busy week? Turn to HelloFresh. HelloFresh's quick and easy meals allow you to make a meal super quick and easy, and you can make a dinner in as little as 15 minutes. And with HelloFresh's pre-portioned ingredients, that means less food waste and less prep. And this week, my family's favorite meal were the mushroom flatbreads. HelloFresh is giving all their subscribers free breakfast for life. That means a totally free breakfast item with every HelloFresh delivery. So if you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, go to HelloFresh.com and use code EMMYMADEFREE to receive breakfast for life. That's one breakfast item per box while the subscription is active. That's code EMMYMADEFREE at HelloFresh.com for breakfast for life. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video and allowing me to make better videos for all of you. All right, my lovelies, today we're gonna to be testing out a gadget that I always wanted when I watch the infomercials late at night. <laughs> it is this. This is the Snack Master. Do you remember this? More specifically, do you remember Kathy Mitchell's infomercial about this thing? I watched it again on YouTube. I'll put a link to <laughs> the original infomercial down below. And it brought back so many waves of nostalgia. I think I knew the entire infomercial by art. Every recipe she made, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that one. I remember even some of the things she said, like why is this currently still on my hard drive? I have no idea. But she had little fixin' trays and she put the fixins in her little sandwiches that she was making in the Snack Master. Yes. I remember seeing this machine and thinking, oh, that's right, Kathy, that would be the perfect after-school snack machine. I could just make myself a little pocket. Don't have to buy Hot Pockets, you can just make them yourself. I mean, all of that I remember, but I never got one, I never got to try one out. But today, I'm going to fulfill those after-school dreams. <laughs> Thanks to lovely Sari. Sorry, thank you so much for getting in touch with me, for sending me your vintage snack master, which has been just sitting, waiting for me to make something inside it. So let's go ahead and get started. Snack Master is slightly warmed off. I gave this a good scrubbing. So here's the interior, and it's basically a non-stick kind of sandwich maker, like a little pocket maker and there's little wells and you can fill them with all kinds of things. Now the original infomercial was I believe about a half an hour long and it was like a little cooking show. This is before the Food Network and I loved it because Kathy would tell you all these things that you can make <laughs> with this particular gadget. Very much in the vein of Ron Popeil. I believe Kathy is still selling all kinds of great little cooking products including I think the most recent one that I can remember are a dump cake series which had its own viral moment. I have not tested this already, but the light is on. All right, my lovelies, my snack master is nice and hot and it's exuding that lovely kind of appliance plasticky burnt smell. Hmm. <laughs> so in the original infomercial, Kathy says you don't need to add any butter or anything, although she does use a, some butter in a couple of the recipes, but this is an older machine and I'm going to go ahead and add some oil. My favorite snack when I was a kid watching this or the one that I always wanted to make were the pizzas. And she made the pizzas out of regular old sandwich bread, which I think was part of the big appeal of it. So I've got some slices of white bread because that's what Kathy used, pressing it down. Regular jarred pizza sauce. I always love that. She always had this feeling of accessibility and kind of, oh yeah, it's so easy. That made the infomercial so appealing, right? So I'm just gonna use a little bit of pizza sauce. In my case, just jarred spaghetti sauce. <laughs> Cause that's what I always use on my pizza. I don't know about you, but that's what I do. And then some cheese. And pepperoni for each one of these. What's great about these little pizza pockets is that you can customize them with whatever you like. I probably put mushroom and some onions. because That's what I like on my pizza. Great, perfect. Stack our pieces of bread on top. 
like this, right? Give them a press. And then we're going to close the snack maker on top and push it all the way until it locks. I always love that locking sound. See, it just locks. And that's it. We're just gonna let this sit there for two to three minutes. I will peek in on it to see how brown it gets. But that's it. Our little pizzas are cooking. Perfect for kids, right? Well, kids that know how to use appliances to a certain degree. It's just been a couple minutes. Let's check on our pizzas. Boom. Ooh, a little sticking, but not bad. Ta da Look at that. Dee -dee. Look at that. Our little pizza pockets are ready and they are not sticking. Great. Great, great, great. Oh, shouldn't spoke too soon. Okay, here we go. And this is what I loved when she did. She would just fold it like that and they would separate. But look, they're fully sealed. Pretty great, right? Love the little fluted pattern completely sealed on all sides. This is a lot like the toast tights or the UFOs that I made. I'll put a link to that vintage gadget down below, but that one was not electrified. You had to flip it on the stove top or you can do it over a campfire, but it would make a sealed sandwich like this, although that one was a beautiful round shape. But this is much more efficient. You don't have any wasted crust. With the UFO, we had a little bit of crust that would be, get cut off. Let's cut this open and see what it looks like inside. Looks nice and crispy, or it sounds crispy. Alrighty, here we go. Ta-da! Little pizza pockets. Alrighty, to my 1990s self. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. Mm. The snack maker does a great job at sealing the edges, and it creates a little bit of a crispy kind of crust. The inside is nice and hot with the molten cheese, warmed up sauce, and of course your pepperonis are already cooked, and they're right inside. But great little quick and easy fast meal that took all of three minutes and uses ingredients you already have in your pantry. Brilliant. Love it. My kids are going to love these. So the next one we're gonna make is breakfast. I'm gonna add a little bit more baking spread and make sure we get all the wells because I did have a little bit of sticking. For this one, I'm going to add some pancake batter, sizzle, just to the tops of the flutes because it will expand. Two sausages, boop, boop and then an egg in each well. <laughs> I'm worried my egg's gonna be too big. Oop, I got a little shell. Okay, alrighty, let's close it up. Alrighty, breakfast in the Snack Master, so great. <laughs> alrighty, lovelies, let's check on our breakfast. Do, 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 do. Oh, that looks great! Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Pancake sausage. Now let's try to extricate our egg. Oh yeah, a little bit of resistance, but I think we're gonna be all right. Little sticking on the sides there. There's our egg, let's see what it looks like on the other side. That's what it looks like on that side. Not bad. All right, so the eggs are a little trickier to get out, definitely. Here are the pancake sausage and eggs. Not too shabby. I'm just missing the parsley and strawberries that Kathy had on her plates. I have to say this is coming full circle because when I watched the infomercials as a child, she never tasted the results, which always kind of bothered me, but today we're gonna taste them. All righty, pancakes first. I really should have some syrup. It's a docky mouse. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Denny's. Fluffy pancake, nice sagey porky sausage in the middle. Eggs, ooh, this egg, actually, I thought this egg was gonna be overcooked. Hey, that's not half bad. That's exactly how I like my eggs cooked in my breakfast sandwiches. So they're not too oozy, so when you bite into them, it doesn't, you don't get egg yolk all over your face, you know? 
Here we go. Pitsadaki mousse. Mmm. I forgot to season with salt and pepper, but still a beautifully cooked egg. If you like them runnier, take them out earlier before you start seeing this turn opaque on top. And then you've got a sunny side up egg. And for our last trick, we're just gonna make some cinnamon rolls, which I always thought, oh boy, cinnamon rolls using machine. Just push on this, right? Wait, okay, no, you have to unwrap it first. Are you one of those people that are scared to open these? I am not one of those people. And then you press the cylinder with a spoon. Yes. Smells nice and cinnamony. Oops. So we have eight rolls in this can, I believe. You can see how frequently I buy these. Oh man. Oh, okay. So there are eight. And then in the end, they give you a little bit of icing at the, at the bottom of the tube. Look at that. Just open up your machine. And I remember being surprised by this back in the day, but Kathy would take two and put two in each well. I'd be like, yo, really? But that's how I remember she did it. So the entire tube of cinnamon rolls right in there and then just squish them down. Here we go. <laughs> I locked them. I don't know if I was supposed to or not, but I did. Alrighty, it's been a couple minutes. Let's see how these are. Ooh, I feel some resistance. I think there's some sticking happening. Okay, here we go. Uh-huh. In terms of the gestalt, they don't look like cinnamon rolls, but they smell like cinnamon rolls. Look at those. Puffed up nicely. We did have some sticking on the side here. Yep, definitely have some sticking. Maybe because there's sugar in this recipe. We have more sticking than we would like. Oh, come back here. So yes, this nonstick surface is not what it used to be. Plus I had cooked an egg in that one. Alrighty. There's also no heat setting on this snack master. It's just on or off. Here are the cinnamon rolls. They took a little bit longer to take out. There's a little bit of over toasting on the bottom. Yep. Tops look good though. I'm curious to see how well it cooked inside since we put two inside. Oh, look. Yep. Dough ball in the middle. So maybe one instead of two in each well would have been better. Because look. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> That's raw. Totally raw. Kathy did not show the inside of her. Let's just taste a little. I don't know if I've ever had these cinnamon rolls before. Cinnamon rolls made in the Snack Master. Mm -hmm. Pretty bready. The icing is very sweet and reminds me of Cinnabon. It has a strong fake vanilla flavor to it, which I think is reminding me of my mall days. The cinnamon rolls themselves uh, taste more like cinnamon bread, I think because of the form. Not really having the entire experience because the center of these are raw. So this did not do a very good job cooking cinnamon rolls, but perhaps it would have been better if I just put one of the discs in there instead of two. Alrighty, my lovelies, there you have it. I cooked with a 1990 Snack Master, a 34 year old vintage appliance, worked pretty well. Big thanks to Sari for making this episode possible and big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try HelloFresh for yourself, click the link down below or head over to hellofresh.com and use code EMMYMADEFREE to receive free breakfast for life. That's one free breakfast item with every box while the subscription is active. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoy that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Hey kids, I've got raw cinnamon rolls. <laughs>